for chapters. It was uh, the Boolean Retrieval, Term Vocabulary and Posting Lists, and Web Search Basics. Uh, my name is Daniel. Uh, Benji. Uh, my name is Min Chur. Kat. Kristen. My name is Hamad Hadid. My name is Edward. All right, and to start things off, I'm just going to go on a, a brief overview of what information uh, retrieval actually is, as kind of the uh, foundation of everything. Uh, academically, it's defined as uh, information retrieval is finding material of unstructured nature that satisfies an information need from within large connections. Uh, this is typically documents within that text, and these are usually stored on computers. Uh, and it was previously held to just a few professions, you know, librarians, paralegals, uh, professional researchers. Uh, but this has since moved to pretty much every single person every day with uh, the development of, you know, uh, web browsers and just the uh, large amount of information we have stored. Um, and then. Uh, is there are information retrieval systems. There are three distinguishable scales. This is the web search, and this can be for any type of information, <coughs> really, uh, just billions of documents, uh, likely more now than when this was written, uh, stored on just millions and millions of computers. Personal information retrieval, this would be like integrated OS systems, emails, um, just being able to retrieve personal information about yourself. And then um, enterprise, institutional, and domain specific, this could be a company with internal documents, uh, databases, uh, etc. So an example of an uh, information retrieval problem. You guys are all probably familiar with uh, some Unix code. Um, one way of actually retrieving some information from documents, databases, would just be the uh, grep command, or grepping. And that's suitable for a lot of small documents, but for large, large uh, information, we need something a little more. Uh, because, well, basically, the data that we have is growing as quickly as the computer speeds themselves. So um, more flexible matching operations, um, we also want ranked retrieval, so the best among all the, the listed answers that we get. Um, and then we also, to avoid this linear scans, we need to we need to index the documents. We'll go over that a little bit later. Um, but right now, I just want to talk a little bit about Boolean retrievals. Um, say we have Shakespeare's collected works, and that would just be all the books he's written, and then words that actually occur within those works. Uh, we want to start off by creating an uh, incident matrix, and then you just have the columns be the different works. Uh, the rows be the different words, and you know if it occurs in there, you basically have a, a one or a zero. Um, this would create a vector for each item where you could determine if it actually occurred within the book, and this is great. But once you get to a you know, large scale, you know it, it doesn't scale too well. Um, you have a lot, a lot of zeros. It doesn't occur. Um, so what we want to kind of re do is is reduce that by creating an inverted matrix. Um, this is basically a dictionary of terms, and then you're going to have a posting list. And posting list is just a list with all the documents that it occurs uh, within it. There are two terms we have here, ad hoc retrieval and information need. Uh, they are just, I, I think I mentioned information need once, but it's basically just uh, what topic the user wishes to know about. It's kind of like a query, but it's a human communicating to a machine, so it's not exactly in the same format. Um, and then ad, hoc, ad hoc retrieval, and that's the standard information retrieval task. So basically from a collection, retrieve the relevant databases based on the uh, information <coughs> need, and that can be anything. So here's basically the first look at what we would do to build an uh, inverted matrix, and you have the document ID here. Basically, it's going to have the uh, index number. You can just increment those, uh, just start off with the random integer, increase each time, then all the different terms. Second step, you're going to kind of group the terms and the document that they appear in. Then you're going to create uh, the dictionary here, all the different terms, the frequency in which they occur, and then the list. This is going to be your posting list. It occurs in document one, two, and it looks kind of silly because there's only two documents, but as that grows, you know, uh, you're going to have a, a lot of different looking lists, so. 